for Sonic Prime so we state. Yep, Sonic Prime is that TV show that's coming out on Netflix. Which doesn't make any sense because Sonic the movie and several and several other Sonic things are on Paramount. So why is Sonic Prime only on Netflix? Maybe it might be some deal they made before, you know, Paramount may acquire the rights for the Sonic movies. Or something like that. Again, Sonic X is apparently also on who, but I don't think anyone likes Sonic X because of one character. But, yep, apparently, yes, we are getting, getting Sonic Prime in December. So, yep, Sonic is really expanding outside of, you know, the... Film industry, no, not, not no, the game industry, yeah, and it's definitely becoming like the multimedia franchise. Not many games have really successfully became multimedia franchises. I know some games have spawned comics as well, and Mario had a lot more large multimedia presence in the 90s, but other games will probably start doing this as well. Like Minecraft, they're probably making a movie, Borderlands, a lot of games, and I think the biggest multimedia game franchise is probably Resident Evil. You have like 10 movies, like 6 TV shows, and it's even more multimedia than Mario at this point. Yeah, if you talk about the number of movies and TV shows, Mario has one movie, a couple TV shows in the 90s, uh, yeah, that's it, that's it, Mario doesn't really have anything else, you know, so yep, there you go about the Sonic for Prime Sonic is becoming a more multimedia franchise. Sonic has always been multimedia. You always had the TV, so you had Sonic Boom, which I think, which has, which doesn't have a streaming at home. Is the only thing that doesn't. I think Sonic Boom might be on Paramount thing. But yeah, that's basically what this video. Goodbye.